We find ourselves in my walk-in wardrobe. It holds all of my clothing, my shoes, and my makeup. We have, I think, I'd say probably between 25 and 50 pairs of shoes in here. It's a lot of feet to dress, and I only have two, but anyway. The item that I probably had the most comments from or that have drawn the most attention would have to be my Jeffrey Campbell spiked nightwalk shoes. Now they're actually kind of more like a weapon than a shoe. They're extremely sharp, so you have to be very careful when they're on. I think if I saw somebody else wearing these and I'd never seen them before, I'd have to give them a bit of a comment because they are pretty cool shoes. They're just great. They're like my own Gaga shoes. My oldest item in my wardrobe, I think, would most likely have to be these trainers. They are Nike Dunks. I got them in the States about, I think, probably six years ago. These were actually kids' shoes, and I just liked them so much that I got them in the biggest size possible, which happened to be my size. So my next item is an item that I thought I might wear, but it turns out, no. And it is this River Island dress. and. You may have now realised why, I'm not too sure if I'm going to wear it, but I bought this originally when I was going to Vegas and it was like my birthday thing and we kind of went for the whole like, woo, Vegas, you know, party land, whatever. I don't know where I'm ever going to wear this here in, in England. I mean, unless it's like maybe like a circus themed party or something. It was actually a hand-me-down from my mum and it's this Hermes Kelly bag. I know Birkins, right? Birkins cost from like £10,000 upwards. And they're bigger than these, but they're our mares. It's just timeless and it smells old. It's just, it's really cool. Like I'm really chuffed to have this in my wardrobe. It's such a cool piece to have. And it goes with everything, so thank you, mom. These boots, I was extremely lucky to be sent and I adore them. They are Cheap Monday. I was actually going to buy them in Urban Outfitters, but I didn't because they were a little bit too expensive. A couple months later, I was so excited when I was contacted by um, PLNDR, and they asked me to choose something, and I chose these, and I love them. My best ever vintage find would have to be this little bag that I picked up recently when I was wandering the streets of Brick Lane. It's the only Moschino thing I own and I've always you know, been a fan of the belts and this whole detailing we've got going on over here and it was 38 pounds and I was like, oh my God. One of my cheaper items that I just love and it comes out every season is one of my heavy knits from Primark. I love stripes, I love heavy knits. I got this years ago so I can't imagine it was more than I'd say like 11 pounds. If there was a house fire and I could only save one thing, it would have to be my classic jumbo Chanel classic quilted leather bag. <laughs> when I think of this, I think of traveling long and far and handing this down to my children, and so I think I'd save this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed an insight into my wardrobe. Please do comment below and let me know what you loved, what you hated, what you'd love to buy, what you'd want to burn. 